on the last episode. <laughs> Blot out, poopy pants! If you've been feeling that ranked is harder this season, maybe you're right. Or maybe you've just been using the wrong legend. Here's the right one. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Today I took stinky gas poo poo man into ranked, but before I did that I had to try a few things out, you know, unleash the smelly science on the unsuspecting test subjects, so I did a trios game to make sure that I could bring something of value to the ranked table. But this warm up game turned into a horrifying nightmare for my teammates, my opponents, and I'd say myself, but I simply do not care. I landed into cage with cruelty in my heart, but all the malintent in the world couldn't stop me from being forced to spectate my teammates burn down the first squad we encountered. At least I got to watch something expire in front of me, but there was no satisfaction in that, or in being ordered around by a talking skull. Better kill someone soon, I'm dying of boredom. Now when it comes to loot, I'd say I normally let my teammates have whatever it is they desire, but there is one weapon that unlocks greed mode, so as we all opened our snapping mouths when the mother care package brought the meal to us, one mouth opened widest, and it was mine. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I mean, I was already running a sniper, so as a team we decided that I should have the Kraber. Besides, when we met enemies, everyone soon knew that I was the most qualified to wield the 50 cal beast. Then our squad of misfits had a, uh, well, a miscommunication, let's say. Wraith went for the black market and Revenant pushed the W key. And I, well... Okay, enough of this newbie nonsense! Rev. hunger to prove myself worthy as a ranked combatant was strong and I was done looking like the fool. So when another team came to see what all the noise was about, it was only fair to give them a sample. This wasn't about what was necessary to secure an elimination, it was about sending a message. Dangling from an electrical snare gave me time to rethink my life, but not long enough to make any meaningful changes. <laughs> Revenant dove to my defense, and it was badly needed. There was more than just one team in this zone. We needed a new vantage point. Caustic and the open hills weren't what I had in mind for this test run. <laughs> That house was the perfect vessel for a new experiment, and as soon as the conditions were favourable, I'd venture to my new lab. So what class is as favourable? That'll do. Of course, as I healed, Revenant answered by storming the castle. Well, a failed experiment, but a successful squad wipe, and we didn't have long with the round three ring moving. It was time to move. Oh boy. I underestimated the ring damage and had to take a big med pack, but Wraith... Our squad had the synergy of a glass sandwich. Now what? I was supposed to be the architect of masterful traps that enemies would step into, but instead, I was facing certain death. Well, I had one message for that enemy team, and that was, I'm already dead inside. Do you think you can kill that? Go ahead! Mirage 
Just choosing to thirst my teammate for the shield swap may have been the sole reason we won that fight, but fear not, I deluded myself into thinking I'd just 1v2 a capable squad. And they say confidence is half the battle anyway, so I'd just leave the other half to my teammate. But the sounds of battle coming from behind me indicated that there might not be much left to do. I could only hope that the final squad were not whole from their previous fight, but as I would soon discover, we weren't going to get that lucky. At least there was a care package for my teammate to even the playing field. But the playing field was occupied. That will be different. Curse you, Caustic! I went for a rear building flank. Hot, 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 hot. I changed my mind. The only thing I can say for my horrendous reaction time at the end there was I was listening for the sound of the door opening. I, I, I didn't factor in the possibility that the door might already be open, but you know what? Good enough for me. Now it was time for Ranked. I wish for one thing. Results. Ah yes, surrounded by the purple trails of my betters. Well, my teammates may have had the superior ranks in previous seasons, but I found the only purple that mattered to me. This game was going to be another one of those any two will do, meaning the first two guns I found were what I opted to roll with, but little did I know there would be surprising synergy in our squad of misfits. We wandered through bunker and rivers, making the Spitfire serviceable, and on the sandy outskirts, prepared to make a stand against enemies fleeing from the ring. Right in the gas trap vantage, come on now! Let's go, let's go! I agreed and so did my canisters. Run, run, run. Approaching the destroyed bridges, more lurkers would be found and an unforgivable crime would be committed. Uh, well, look, we don't need to draw attention to it, guys. It's just one of those things, and it's not important who gets the killing shot, right? So let's just move on. Look at this, look at this. Kill still caustic. Thinking he's cosmic. No, Nick, caustic. Look at this, look at this. Still all bliss. Any damage you got? One elimination, son! Apparently, my teammates were still salty about the kill steal and were happy to ignore the rest of that team on the edge of the ring as they had new targets to kill. I needed to catch up before this battle was over. occasion I allowed Revenant to steal the kills that clearly would have been secured by my ultimate. Such is my kindness. While we looted up, Rampart took care of the last enemy. Okay, my bad. Well, unfortunately, it was that time again. <laughs> Round two was closing on our heels and we had to start thinking about what was next, but when enemies zipped across, I thought the answer would be a fight. Never mind the evac tower that Revenant put down, surely we'd be slapping those scallywags back to the lobby. I'm better! I am better! And uh, guess who didn't see his teammates take the evac tower? <laughs> Round three now, nine squads left, and our team was reunited, which is just as well, because we weren't the only fringe dwellers waiting to hover at the edge of the next ring. It was time to push. Well, that was awkward. The enemies must have gone right instead of left. Oh, wait. No, I, I think they did go left. I could hear it. So when my teammates went right, guess who was late to the new party? Oct 
Captain was dead, out Loba bled, and the final foe ran away, which got me thinking. The combination of traps and walls had some potential to make some horrifying nightmares come true in the endgame, which would be fought in artillery. We prowled the zone, waiting for the sounds of helpless noobs that were in battle, but ended up finding something better. Players running from the ring with only one way out of it? Through us. Round 5, only two other squads left and our tactics stayed pretty much the same as the last ring. Let it close and see if anyone runs. Look at this, look at this! The final face-off. We had no idea how many were in this team or if we even had the skill to take them down. They had the high ground, that much was clear. I guess we'd just have to take it from them. A two-pronged approach. We decided to hit them from both sides. <laughs> Unfortunately, my ultimate landed somewhere in relay. Also, I failed the climb and I do not want to talk about it! As I crawled along, knowing I might have just cost... I didn't cost us, I am caustic! And if I was that rampart, I might feel a little salty about having zero limbs when Captain 18 damage probably stole a good amount of them, but who cares? Up we go, and onward we went. Arriving in primary power grid, we were not alone, and better than that, someone ordered a taxi. Why mate, stick around! One shot here. This wasn't a hot drop. What was going on here? Right, so I get two limbs and I lose 50 RP. Yeah, okay, don't lose the first fight. Got it, because this could get expensive. Another 50 points down the drain. I'm going to be honest, my hard drive got so full of the games I was recording, I just deleted them all. But my rank was going up and down like a yo-yo thanks to hot droppers and shots that floppered. So let's just say I breathed a sigh of relief when this team flew us to the edge of the map where most people can't be bothered to explore. But my awareness of dying so many times and losing minus 50 RP was heightening everything. I mean, at 13 squads left, I'd still be minus 30, so there was just no point taking fights until the game was half over, because kills counted for pretty much nothing before that point. I found myself drinking the tears of my teammates from the last 13 games, but I was no longer in the mood for losing points as I intended to climb with or without my team. Sometimes that means doing the one thing that we've all done at least once in our lives. Don't lie, guys. Sorry about the rant, I wanted you to have a clearer picture of where my mental state was at, uh, basically to qualify the fact that you're going to see some cowardly gameplay. And as we looted up at Solar Array, my fight or flight was already turning into flight at the first sign of trouble. I pinged for us to escape, but Fuse wasn't about to give up on Pathfinder yet, and besides, my ultimate was ready. <laughs> now what, Mirage?
My aim was off, and clearly I'd been affected by that myriad of early defeats. Even though we won the first battle, I had my doubts about this team and our ability to win this game. So while skulking around the edge of the round two ring, there was more combat nearby, and all I wanted to do was safely rotate. Ring close, son. Don't want another fight, tribute. Oh, wait, that's me. I should have just used my own accent. <laughs> Anyway, don't type when you can use your microphone, folks. Otherwise, you'll end up late, and then this happens. I, am taking fire. I, have been I reluctantly went to try and salvage this fight. Don't bark at the moon just yet, Pathfinder. We still had to get out of here in one piece, and it was a long journey. As we crossed from the supply track to the primary power grid, only two teams stood between us and total victory, and one of those teams tried to pull off a resurrection right under our noses! Which is a good time to mention that there was an unfortunate amount of resources spent on sending the reborn legend back to the lobby. <laughs> An enemy Loba still alive in that team. Perhaps she was now solo, but we couldn't know for sure. Be safe, man. What I did know for sure was that as round four began to close, so did our chances of winning this game. I pinged for position. Pathfinder pushed the W key. What happened next left me utterly speechless. Goodbye, Loba. Enjoy the ride. Farewell, Ballistic, dear chap. It's all fun in games when it's your enemies that are getting sucked outside a round five ring. It's less fun when your last teammate joins them. My aim was still a disaster. I couldn't do this. Which was when Pathfinder somehow triumphantly returned. Now we had a chance. There you have it, the road to Diamond was well on track, and while I recorded many more games on my climb, I can only give you glimpses of the real journey. But the quest for the Diamond Badge continues using whatever strategies are necessary, and if I have to, I will call upon she who is reserved for times of great need. Oh, do you mean me? No, not you, you loser. I found the path to gold. <laughs>